our next dog is uh, even more than Canella. <laughs> and on the, on the extra scale, uh, he, he's up to an 11, right? Um, this is Dundee, and while he looks like he's a teeny tiny dog, he is about six months old. You know, we um, looked at his teeth, and you know he's got you know you know big boy teeth in there, so he's not as small as his size or as young as his size might allude to. He is one of our little pit bull puppies, and his name is Dundee because um, he has sharp, sharp little crocodile puppy teeth, and uh, he thinks that everything is something he should put his mouth on. Um, I put, I wanted to put him on the show today because I know when people see him, they're gonna think, oh, a little puppy, that's fantastic. I want a, I want a puppy. Um, and the thing is, is that. Um, he is not a puppy for everyone. He's not necessarily gonna be that puppy that you wanna get as a first time dog owner. He has a ton of potential, but he does have a lot of, of, of energy and a lot of kind of some bad habits that he needs to learn um, to break that might be um, very challenging for someone who has not had a dog in the past. So we are looking for, for someone who definitely um, done some puppy stuff before, um, has some dog experience, knows about you know training and things like that. And we're also looking for a household with uh, teens or adults. We don't want any younger kids um, you know getting stuck um, you know with uh, the, the leash biting or you know knocking them over things like that. Um, but he does have a lot of energy, so he is fun. So if you're looking to um, have a running companion, he's also very into treats. So if you're looking for a dog that you might be able to train to do various canine sports, so like uh, agility or fly ball or any of those types of things, that might be a great outlet for all of his energy, but also helping him learn um, some impulse control and things like that. Um, so yes, he does have a lot of potential, but he's definitely going to be, you know, a project dog. That's not going to be your typical uh, cute little puppy that you're going to take home. Um, you want to make sure you're permit committed to, to doing the work so that Dundee can be the best version of himself. So staff recently learned that Dundee has a favorite toy. What's that toy? Yeah. So you know, we're always looking for ways to wear out uh, dogs like like Dundee and get him focused on something. And uh, um, it's you know, not everybody understands this toy, the specific toy. It's a little bit of a non-traditional for some people, which is the flirt pole. And everybody understands like wand toys for their cats, right? You know, um, you know, you move the wand toy around and they get to chase it. And the flirt pole is this, essentially the same thing, but bigger for dogs. Um, it usually has a toy or a flag on the end, sometimes a squeaker, and you can you know, run it around very much like you would a wand toy with a cat, and he really enjoys that. Um, it helps him you know, get out some energy, um, and once he's had that time to run off some of that, that excess energy, he is a little bit more mellow, a little bit well-behaved, but it is important to understand how to use the flirt pole. Um, if you don't know how to you know, take things up and then de-escalate it, um, it could get to a situation where now he's even more mouthy. So doing a little bit of research and making sure that you understand how to use that tool um, properly and effectively is gonna be really important. But if you have the dog experience required and you think that um, you could work with Dundee to make him um, the best little um, crocodile hunter that he can be, um, you can go to visit fcac.as.me to book that appointment.